What's poppin' y'all? Hello, hello. I'ma let some folks hop up in here before we get started. What's going on, y'all? I'm gonna let some people hop in this mug before we chat. I just got some questions, okay? I got some questions and y'all probably got answers. So I'm just letting people get up into the chat. Um, before we get started though, how y'all doing? How y'all feeling? What's today? Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday evening. What is going down? Where y'all at? Hey, we got Columbia, South Carolina. What's going on? How y'all feeling? We're going to talk about some. What's up, Philly? We're going we gonna, to we gonna talk about it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to get into the ghost thing. We're going to get into whether or not y'all are ghosts. We're going to get into the whole the whole nine, okay? Because it's it's 2021. What are we what are, what are we doing? What are we doing? We got Birmingham in there. What's popping Birmingham? Jersey Cleveland, hey, what's going on, Cleveland? Shreveport, shout out to Shreveport, shout out to the boat. I think I said what's up to Philly. What's going on? Look, listen, literally checking in with y'all. It's Tuesday. I hope y'all week is, you know, started off, you know what I mean, in a decent way. Mine is okay. Take that thing a day at a time. But yeah, we talking about ghosting. It's 2021, and, uh, you know, it may or may not be a lot of reasons to ghost, depending on who you are. You feel me? Um, Augusta, what's up? Georgia, what's up? Memphis, Florida, you know, we got a lot of people in the house. Um, thank y'all for joining my live. Yeah, you know, if you haven't if you haven't been to one of my lives, let me just tell you right now, we just we just be having conversations. You know what I'm saying? I just be really wanting to have an understanding of what y'all niggas is on. Okay, <laughs> that's that's literally it. You know what I mean? Um, shout out to Seattle, Richmond, um, Delaware. Hey, what's up, Delaware? What's going on? Um, yeah, well, yeah, let's talk about it though. Let's talk about it in 2021, right? It's July. Is there a good reason? That's how they fly. Is there a good reason to go somebody? Like on some real stuff with all the ways to communicate, you know what I mean? If you following some, I mean, if you, if you talking to somebody, it's been, you know, a decent amount of time. You know, you meet somebody recently at a bar or something. It's just been a couple weeks or it's just been a couple days. Is it a reason to to go somebody and why? Why would you go somebody? I need I need some examples of what I'm gonna get into some story time in a minute of why we're talking about this right now. But I just I just need to know what would be a reason. For two grown people, for a grown person to ghost another grown person. Let me know. See, uh, Travis Thomas from yeah, if we in the 10th grade. Exactly. That's that's my point exactly. That is my point exactly. So, let me see if this is too loud. Why is it in Sorry, 
Okay. Is it a reason? My bad, y'all. Is it a reason? And what would be the reason? What's going on? What's up? Oh, it's August. You're right. I said July. I'm sorry, y'all. It's July. It's like the third. Forgive me. Um, too many, too red, too many red flags too soon. Okay, so here's here's my question. Okay, if you talking to somebody, we all grown, and it's it's red flags. Why would you why would you not tell the person? Why would you why would you not let the person know? Um, all right, Ben Kendra says, yeah, fake being pregnant. That's why you ghosted the person because they faked being pregnant or did you fake being pregnant? Help put some context on that for me, if you don't mind. If they crazy. You been smoking them vegan trees? No, I have not. If you find out her house dirty, that's a red flag time to head on out. Okay. All right, but do, are you going to ghost her? And I feel like this is this is good that we're talking about this because a lot of people is not going to tell somebody, "Oh, your house dirty." So I'm going so I'm I'm not going to talk to you no more. So, okay, I I can see that happening. Um Jay Gill said, "What if you realize this person is crazy as hell, you wouldn't ghost them?" I guess so. Like it, like crazy, like my life in danger. Is that what you mean? Is that what you mean by crazy? Um, I'm gonna give y'all my. I'm gonna give y'all my. Uh, I what you call a story in a minute. Hey, Langston, what's popping? Um, people scared to be real in person. People are, or even over text. You know what I mean, or 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 whatever. Like, you know what I mean. Let me see if I can see these chats. Okay, yeah, not being mature enough. My whole thing is, okay, if you talk to somebody and they crazy, what, what attracted you to them in the first place? You know what I mean? Like, Sean John uh, asked what the question again is. My question is, what's a good excuse to go somebody? Like, why would you do it? If you are not interested in talking to somebody no more, why would you not just tell them? Is there a certain time period where it's okay to ghost? Like if you ain't, you've only been talking to the person like a week or two weeks, you can ghost them. If it's been longer, do you owe them? Like what's what's up? Let me know. Come on now, Crims on Leo. Shout out to you, okay, for putting something in the super chat. Definitely appreciate you. He says or she. I'm assuming it's he. I ghosted one chick in life, and that's because I heard him. For most of the people, she was for the streets. Later, I found out it was true. Okay, you you couldn't let her know. Is it noble? Is it noble to ghost? Is that isn't that like the cowardly thing to do though? Unless cuz that technically she didn't wrong you. You know what I mean? She was out in the streets, but she might have been right to you, so I feel like, you know what I mean? You ain't on no explanation. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Thanks, Travis. I appreciate that. Um, she pretended like she was pregnant. Okay. I, how did you, oh, how you find out? How did you know she was faking? Oh, so many questions. So many questions. Some people get it in their feelings and hard red flags. I agree. Scared to let somebody down. Lied about being pregnant on top of other lies. I don't know why you would lie about being pregnant because that is something, but how you know she didn't just get rid of it? Um, not mature enough to have a difficult conversation. Life in danger. They get, they get told to calm down. I'm not sure about that one. Ghost them because they wasn't chocolate like you. Hey, you can't be ghosting people because they're not chocolate. They can't help that. Maybe they can go out and be in the sun. I don't know. Well, be that person got red flags. That person and the put the red person in the friend zone. I agree to that. Carl Kelly said yes. If the person starts with that sociopathic crazy game, bounce. 
telling the sociopath they have mental issues can trigger them to violence. All right. Don't mind. Nobody needs to get violent up in this piece. Just be real with them and not ghost them. That's my point as well, too. We got to stop this. We got to stop this ghosting, ghosting culture. You know what I'm saying? You got to let people know what's going on if you're not interested. And I'm guilty of this too. You know what I mean? I feel like a lot of women, I can you know, I can speak for ladies, but I feel like it's a lot of women that's guilty of this as well. Like, you know, not um not feeling comfortable telling the dude or like giving a dude your number, but like knowing it ain't going nowhere or whatever, and just, you know, not even saying why or whatever. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? You might as well let that person know, you know, but what if it's on some petty shit? You know what I mean? What what happens then? What happens if it's on some petty shit or why you ghosting them? Um, Technically not ghosted, just told her to let it go. See, that's what I'm saying. You could just let the person know, like, I'm good. I'm cool. Y'all, y'all let me know which is meaner because is, is it meaner to ghost somebody or is it meaner to just be like, I'm good. I'm Gucci on this. You know what I mean? See you in another life. I guess I'll see you in this lifetime. Yes. We'll be. You know what I mean? What's what's meaner? Because to me, it's meaner to not even say nothing. You don't want to talk to me no more or you got another situation going on. You don't want to just let me know. You just going to leave me on. You just going to let me text you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all not feeling me. Y'all not feeling me, okay? I got lost. Let me see. Um, I feel like it's a person. Sean John said, I feel like it's a person's mental level and their maturity. Some people are energy vamps. Okay. Um, vibes wasn't on point. See, in all of these, let me see. These are reasons I feel like to not talk to nobody no more, but ghost them. Ghost them though? Are those reasons to ghost somebody? Um, but as an adult, it's a safe to let a person know what's up, definitely. That's what I'm saying. Like we talking, we grown, y'all. So, you know, go ahead and go ahead and let that person know. These people have nothing better to do than just go get on with your life. There's someone out there for you. Yes, agree. Ghosting is worse. Ghosting is worse. Be straightforward. Um, if you find out that her vagina stank. You know, see, this is that's a fixable offense. You know what I'm saying? Y'all out here with stanky, stanky balls and stuff and nut hairs and, and things that ain't right. You know what I'm saying? So these are fixable offenses. You know what I'm saying? You could talk, you could, you could talk to that young lady about that and be like, woo, you know what I mean? We got to, you know, she might have to figure some things out for herself. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not really about the leaving those hanging questions. I think I understood that. It might be petty on one side, but it could be a big deal to the other side. Agreed. It's mean it a ghost. It's immature. Absolutely. I would rather you tell me because I will tell you. That's what I mean. Let me know. Now I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be super honest. Um I've had an experience before where um I was talking to a gentleman and I did not enjoy um the intimacy with him. It was not good to me. But we was cool. We was cool. Um we was friends, you know, like we was cool. And so after this happened, and I was like, oh, I did not like that. Not in like some, you know. You know, it was it was consensual, but I just did not enjoy it. Um, I couldn't tell him. I could not. I could not tell him. I could not just be like, nigga, that was terrible. You know what I'm saying? Instead, I was just like, you know what? I'm I'm alright. You know what I mean? I'm good. I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? I could have ghosted, but I feel like we was cool. We we actually had a friendship, like we was cool people. So it was like I ain't gonna ghost him. You know what I mean? He was coming on a little strong for me anyway. I'm the type I don't like for a nigga to come on too strong. You know what I'm saying? If it's too too much, 
I feel like I like this I then just you know what I mean I rather you know don't be too cool where I don't know if you like me or not but too strong you know but I couldn't tell him though you know what I'm saying um I that's uh, TC Alexander says is that a fixable offense you know I don't know but I wasn't interested in trying to figure it out so that's why I was like, no, nah, I'm okay. I'm not that invested in this individual to work through this. You know what I mean? If I had a partner and the, you know, the sex wasn't that great, you know what I'm saying? I would, I would maybe try, I would work, try to work it out with them. But yeah, just a, just somebody cool like that? No. Mm-mm. No. But I couldn't tell them. I didn't ghost them though. I did not, I did not ghost him. You feel me? And that's what I mean. You know what I'm saying? I could have. Y'all out here talking about, you know, ghosting people. And I'm like, you could just let them know. Like, I'm okay. Um, Let me get back to what y'all, sorry, y'all. These comments are off the charts. Oh, uh, yeah. People is, what? People do not act like adults. That's, that's true. Uh, Crimson Leo said people nowadays are emotionally detached to the point where they ghost without trying. That's true. And that's, to me, that's just not mature. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll be asking for discernment to stay away from people like that. You feel me? Um, being greedy is a part of ghosting. Yeah. Um, don't want to get rid of a male friend's business reasons. I get that. Okay. Okay. That's why you ghosted the young lady. Um, he couldn't redeem his stroke. No. He could not <laughs> define too strong. Um, that's different for everybody. For, but for, for me, it's like you're not being able to read the room. You know what I mean? If you can't read me, you know, my body language, me talking to you, if you're not getting the signs of like, you know, you doing too much, being too close, making too many comments, doing whatever, you know, I just feel like you got to be able to read the room. You know, if I'm not comfortable around you, then that's too much. That's too strong for me. You know what I'm saying? So everybody... Ain't for everybody. That's okay. You know, you ain't got to click with everybody you meet. You know what I mean? So, but that's what I mean by too strong. Um, if you be like, I'm good, you do you. It kind of leaves the door open to start again a year or so later. Um, not necessarily, oh, I guess. I don't know. Um, why you didn't let him redeem his strokes? That was no. That was a no for me, dog. Well, I got to say you better than the others. That's what I mean. Like, why we not... Um, why we not? Why we not telling people how we feel, y'all? Why we not doing that? You feel me? Bottom line, people. Okay, real brother said. Bottom line, people may ghost if they just aren't into you. If they see a strong interest, they're less likely to want an uncomfortable convo, especially with, uh -oh, especially with the no emotion investment. You'll get the hint. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like that's lame. I feel like ghosting people is so lame. It's like, you know, if you are feeling like you're getting ghosted, if you feeling like something's going on, I feel like a question should be asked. Like, hey, what's up? Like, hey, you good? You know what I mean? That's another thing I feel like people don't give the other person the opportunity to say, hey, I'm not really interested. I be feeling like that. I be feeling like men don't give me an opportunity to say no, so I just seem like a bitch if I just like don't respond or whatever. Like, you ain't never asked me like, you know, you interested in taking this to the next level or, you know, what you what you trying to do? You know, dudes, I'm, you know, y'all got to ask the young ladies what you trying to do. You know, same young ladies. You got to be like, OK, nigga, what's up? <laughs> what you what you trying to do? Because you ain't been responsive as you know, you used to or you kind of being weird with me. So what you what you trying to do? Um, real brother said, I didn't say it was lazy. I'm just saying people would rather avoid and be uncomfortable in off situation. Yeah. True, true, true. Yeah. People would be, you know, would rather just avoid you altogether. My whole thing is like, what's the likelihood of you seeing that person again or coming into contact with that person again? You know, if you don't really, I don't know. Michael Houston said, ghosting is a strong word. Let's just say strategically removing yourself from the equation. But is it strategic though? That's the that's the question. That's that is the question. Some people are oblivious to signals. Agree. Pe some people are oblivious to signals. No, that's true. That's true, true, true. Sketchy friends. Is sketchy friends a reason to ghost? 
You ain't going to talk to that person about their friends first. You're just going to judge somebody. Can you judge somebody's character? Can you judge what's going on with a dude or a girl by their friends? Can you make a wholesome decision about an individual by looking and peeping their friends? Y'all don't think you look, you don't think you may be missing out? You don't want to get context as to why that 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 person is in in has that has those people as company? You don't want to you don't want to investigate that? I see, I see why a lot of y'all is sing out here right now, okay? <laughs> y'all is not giving people chances. Y'all is ghosting people. Y'all is judging people by the people they hang out with. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't judge people by who they hang out with, but I feel like it's a part of the... It's not a part of the equation. It's not a part of it. Y'all saying, yeah, yeah, but people still, but people still, you shouldn't, but people still do it. I agree with that. I, I feel like it's, it's, it's telling, but it's not the whole picture. You know, I feel like people is around here, whole picture and everything. Can't be doing that. It ain't, it ain't the whole picture. You feel me? It's, it's a piece of the puzzle, but you never know. That might be a, a period in that person's life with their, you know, that they connected with them people, but they not, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Y'all feel me? Do you feel me? Do, do you, do you, do you? I said I was going to give y'all story time about my ghost. Well, I guess I did. Well, no, that wasn't a ghost story. That was when I couldn't tell that individual that I'd enjoy their company. But that was tough. That was really tough. That 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 was that was really tough. Okay, so let's see. Um, my guest said, "I say this. I say it is. Sometimes you can flat out tell them it's not working, and the other person may not take it well. So by slowly remove yourself from the equation, you don't look bad in the end." Okay, so let's talk about ghosting because we're giving examples of backing off, becoming distant. Becoming distant and ghosting aren't the same things, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. Ghosting is like we was texting and then we not texting no more. We was talking, you was answering my phone calls. Okay, and now you're not answering my phone calls anymore. You know, if you're becoming distant but still keeping in contact, I feel like people, you know, you can see what's up. You can figure it out. Like, oh, you becoming distant. Are you fooling with me still? Or what's going on? You got somebody else? But yeah, we're talking about ghosting. Like, literally, you just don't respond to that person no more. Y'all kicked it. That person hit you back up. You just don't respond. You know? Like, when, when is it a good opportunity to do something like that? You know what I mean? Um, Kay said, no, because you have different friend groups. One set of fun friends might be the wild. The others might be the one that have stuff together. Okay, so yeah, back on the friends conversation. I agree. You never know why somebody is cool with somebody or how cool they may be or what stage of their coolness that they in. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. I don't think you can completely judge a person by their friends. You know, you got to kind of look at the situation. Like, how long y'all been friends? You know, what type of friends are they? Are they just your going out friends? Because we all got people in our life like that. You know what I mean? We all got people that we cook it with that we may not discuss our, like, you know, desires and goals with. You know what I'm saying? Or vice versa. You know, we got my people, have people that are mentors, people that we, you know what I mean, break bread with for real that we would never go party with or anything like that. So, I'm just saying, you know what I mean? I'm just saying. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about the, the about the judging people friends, you know what I'm saying? Um my reason that I'm still shooting my shot with the homie. You'll have to keep watching to find out. 
Thank you so much, No PC Show. That's just disrespectful to not respond. That's what I'm saying. That's the ghosted thing we're talking about. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah. That's all I got to say on the subject. That was quick for me. I, I don't, I don't, I don't plan on ghosting anybody because I feel like that should come back on you, unless we talking worst case scenario. This nigga terrifying me, or I feel like he gonna roll up on me or some shit. Then sure, but I don't think I would. I don't think that I would um be talking to him anyway. If I'm scared, if I'm scared of a dude like that. Okay. Sorry, guys. Let's go back up. Ooh, the comments. Ghosting. Okay. J uh, Jid Moore 10 or J.I.D. Moore 10 says, Ghosting is, is a thing because people got to know that you aren't owed a conversation. That's a good way to... That's a good point to bring up. You aren't owed a conversation. It's, it's just common decency. Yeah, you don't owe people please or a thank you, but you still do that, too. Yeah, it's not a mandate to say please, but it would be kind of ass holistic if you didn't say please when you ask for something or thank you when somebody gives you something. So, yeah, people are an older conversation, but it's, it's common decency. If you tell them you ghosting them, they can trip. Yeah, but if you tell them that you're not, you're not ghosting them, you just, you just end in the relationship. If you tell somebody, I'm not going to be talking to you no more, that's just ending it. That's not ghosting. <laughs> that's just being like, I'm done. I'm finished. Thank you. Um, just don't want to waste no time. Yeah, let them know. I, I just ghosted. I was ghosted because someone thought that I wasn't helpful in getting them a job in the same place that I was working. Jay Gill said that. That's unfortunate. Shut by to them. How are you supposed to help somebody else get their job? Like what? Um, J.I.D. Moore says, sometimes you may find out information about someone that that would want you to completely cut contact for example their friends with a, an abuser or their manipulating ma manipulative tactics mm, i don't know i still don't think that's not our best because it's three sides to every story so if you find out some information about somebody you still don't know what they side is it's three sides they side the other side and the truth so you know you don't know I don't know. I don't think that's still. I don't think that's a good reason to ghost people. I think we're. I think we're coming to the conclusion that you really should not be out here ghosting motherfuckers. Just be like, I'm good. You know what? I'm good. I, I'm no longer interested. I'm just saying. Spell what, Dwayne? Spell what? Um. Michael Houston said, all BS aside, it is best to be honest and close that chapter of your life before starting a chapter with someone else. Agreed. Agreed. It is best to do that. You ever go someone on YouTube? No. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I got, y'all. I hope that y'all are um, out here treating people right. Not getting ghosted on. Because it ain't cool. You feel me? It ain't cool, baby, baby. I'm going to get out of here, though. Drink some more of my tea. Light a bit of my other tea. While y'all split the tea. Y'all be good. Have a great night. Thank you for joining in on my conversation. As always, it's a pleasure. Y'all bring um, amazing commentary. Period. Period. Okay? Don't let nobody tell y'all different. Um, I will say I have a very, very interesting sketch. Um, hey, 
Dorcas Powell. Powell, what's up? Thank you. Carlos Harrison, what do you put in your skin? Um, water. Um, vitamin C serum. I just bought some from Whole Foods, actually. Um, rose hip oil. Things like that. I use a toner. Are you gonna? I don't know what GHB Yana is, Timothy. Um, but yeah, if y'all have things, <laughs> okay, hey Callie. Um, if y'all have things that y'all want to discuss, you could always let me know. But yeah, the ghosting thing had to be talked about because I just cannot believe in 2021 y'all is still ghosting people. Thanks, thanks, Callie. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah. Kelly, have you ever ghosted somebody? To be honest, am I going to make a video to my intro song? Um, sure. Um, you and Big have great chemistry. I hit that subscribe button a long time ago. Thank you so much. Kelly is out here ghosting people. Y'all let Kelly know that it's not right. Uh, Lala said that they want to discuss my healthy hair roots. Listen. Let me tell y'all something. Um, I got some thick hair, okay? Y'all want to know how long it took me to do this hair? I did this. This took like tw 12 hours. Four 13, 14 hours. About about twelve to fourteen hours. Um, I know you was never ghosted. Um, yeah, yeah, I was. I was ghosted one time. I went to Drake's birthday party a few years ago. <laughs> Drake was not the one that ghosted me, but I went to Drake's birthday party and met another young individual, young man. And Drake had like this photo booth. It was at Poppy. In LA, he had this photo booth. It was like basket. It was like basketball, high school basketball, dance themed or whatever, like homecoming or whatever. So there was like this little cheesy little photo booth with like a basketball hoop and like a basketball. And then the funny, the caption on the photo booth was like, "Be cute, like we'll never talk again" or something like that. I still have the picture in there. But anyway, this guy he was like flirting with me, like, "Oh, we talking? Whatever." We exchanged numbers. Took a picture in the photo booth. Bam, ah, bam. Text him the next day, like, oh, it was fun. Nice meeting you. Nothing. Nothing. He didn't say nothing back. Nothing. He didn't say cool. He didn't, nothing. I was like, okay. Why did you ask for my number? See, it's different when guys be ghosting because it's like y'all the ones that asking for the number. It's like if you knew you was going to ghost me, why would you ask me for the number? It's kind of hard on women because y'all ask us for our number. We just don't be wanting to tell y'all no. So it's like, okay, we're going to give you our number. But it's like, I'm not going to respond when this nigga texts me. You know what I mean? So that was the time, though. That was That's being ghosted. I've been getting rest. Yeah, I have been. It's a healthy, it's a healthy on my end. Some people don't understand. No, that's true. People don't understand. No. I wish I knew you because I need a queen like you in my life. You're going you gonna to find you one, brother. There's probably some right between, under your nose. Um, S. Brattle 2 said, ma'am, I can't change you. You only, My only choice is that I can or can't deal. If I can't and I don't see it's worth fighting for, easy way out. Okay. I would have said something back. He better recognize. Yeah. Cal, I hear ghosting men after they run her the meat. Yeah. Cal, I hear ghosting. It ain't right. Rodney, you was ghosted before. How did that work out for you? How did that work out? I think it's I think it's the level of ghostivity, the level of ghostation depends on how deep. Excuse me. Y'all didn't got into it. If you just started talking to the person and you just stopped texting, or like this nigga did me at the Drake party where he just didn't respond, that's different. We had just met. But if we didn't been talking for weeks, or I didn't let you hit, and I didn't like it, and then I just don't respond, that's kind of messed up. Mm. 
what? What this? What word in new tense? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, y'all. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You feel me? <laughs> just let me encourage you not to be ghosting people. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Don't be ghosting people. Don't be out here giving your number out recklessly. Don't be out here being too pushy asking for a girl number. Because my whole thing is you probably wouldn't have been ghosted if you had, if you could read the room, if you could read certain signs. You probably wouldn't even been ghosted. Is that something to think about? That's something to think about. You probably, you probably wouldn't have been ghosted. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But yeah. I'm trying to think if I didn't ghosted anybody else. I don't think I have. Or been ghosted. I probably, I feel, I don't know. I'm trying to think of the time I've been ghosted. Mm. Oh, this one time I met a football player, a professional football player at this fancy gym in LA. And uh, he was like, let me follow you on Instagram. I was like, okay. I didn't really know. I see, I didn't, I knew he did some, but I didn't know what. I didn't know he played football. I'm not I'm not a big follower of the NFL. So I didn't really know. So I'm like, okay, you got my Instagram or whatever. So come I, I we he, he gets my Instagram, I get his. I'm like, okay. This nigga is a, a whole ass professional ass athlete out here in these streets. What's up? You know what I mean? You trying to get drinks? What's going on? We gonna hang out? Like we was we had just had a casual conversation outside the gym. And um, he was like, yeah, for sure. I was like, okay, cool. And then he did not. He did not link. He did not text me. He did not. So that's ghosting as well. And I'm now that I'm looking back, I'm like, damn, I'm, I'm being ghosted by... I'm being, being ghosted by dudes that's on. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? Jerome King said, people be ghosting like they Scooby-Doo in the mystery machine. That's that's true. Shout out to you, okay, for sharing. <laughs> Thanks for tapping in, Mr. 40 Pits. I appreciate you. Car Kelly said, I think there are lines that should be never crossed if you want a relationship with that person. Agreed. Definitely agreed. Thank you so much again, Jerome. For real, Car. Agreed. Um, but yeah, so... It just doesn't feel good. You know what I mean? No PC show said he wanted to chase me. I mean, he asked me for my Instagram. So I feel like I didn't chase him and get into the contact. He got my contact. Is it chasing just because I'm like, you want to hang out? And I asked first. Is that is that not desirable? Is that not what women should do? That's That's... That's a real question. I, I definitely want to know that one. Can a girl, can a woman not ask you out first? Was they not attractive because I asked him to hang out? He said, yeah. He should have got my number. I agree to that as well. I agree. Some women are ghostbusters. Pop up on you with the stank neck. Something wrong with your phone? Okay, hunters want to hunt. Mm. Yeah, I agree. But yeah, if you if you tripping because a woman asked you, you know what I mean. If you tripping because a woman asked you to go get drinks to go hang out, then y'all not for each other, and that's okay. I mean, I don't want to ask, but I will. You know, like what you doing? Let's go. Let's go hang out. I feel like a lot of women do that. I feel like a lot of women do that. I don't know. Share your response. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know.
Let me know. Let me know. Jerome, shout out to you again, babe. People be ghosting like they stay, like they stay puffed marshmallow man. Okay. Okay. Hilarious. Shout out to you. Um, Timothy Young said, what is my first car? Random, but okay. Uh, a Mazda. I drove a Mazda. It was my grandma's car that she gave to me. Shout out to her. Um, no PC show, show said I'm old, so I prefer to ask. Do that. You do that. That's what y'all should do. It's really cool. Um, I used to think women and men couldn't just be friends. Then it took one girl to change that theory. Darius Green said, I don't know. I sort of, I sort of think, sort of, sort of, sort of think that men and women can be friends. But I just feel like it's just very... Uh, particular circumstances and it also has to be like boundaries in their friendship as well no matter who they are you know what I mean um, as Brattle said what was my worst date story we'll have to say that for another time when it's on topic I'll tell y'all later I've had a couple of worst dates not too many but I've had some experiences but we'll we'll save that for another chat we talk about ghosting I guess that's connected to ghosting though um my personal situation just happened long story short people are stuck in their own head meaning a man can genuinely want to go out to dinner with you for conversation okay women who are straight up scared who are straight up scared some dudes true true um I haven't been on a real date in years you know what I mean hey with the panty, with the panty rama, with the whole Pantene Pro V right now, it's it's probably hard to just take people on dates, or go on dates. You know, that's that's intense. That's intense business. You know what I'm saying? Well, a worst date situation. Um, I can't even think. Your worst date? We ended up in the hospital. What the hell? What happened there? Y'all, oof, y'all be doing the most. Okay? Y'all be doing the most. I still haven't been on a date in years either. Yeah, and it's probably going to be a little longer given the circumstance of what's going on. Because I feel like people ain't really just <laughs> trying to go on dates. I don't think, I don't, I, I mean, I mean, like, if a man tried to take me on a date now, I literally would be like, Like, where are we going to go? To eat? Because we really can't go nowhere else. And then what are we going to do? Do I wear my mask the whole time? Have you been tested? Do I get tested? I don't even. I couldn't imagine. I'm, I'm, I could not imagine. Um, Dorcas Powell Powell said, I was ghosted by a nice looking man. He was sending all the vibes for about a week. Then, then he was like, ghost. He was gone. I think he was in a relationship. It's rude. Folks should be sincere. That's true. That's what I'm saying. It's rude. It is rude to ghost somebody that you've been vibing with. You know? Uh, Carl Kelly says, some of my best memories are often or were made when I asked, when I was asked out or she had me come to a special place of hers for just us two. Mm -hmm. That Delta variant, y'all better watch out. Okay. Y'all better watch out, okay? That Delta variant. Um, oh, Ray's room said we not watching the verses right now. You ain't watching it either. So what's up? No, I like I like uh I like them both, but I definitely don't have no locks in my in my playlist. But I definitely got some dipsets, some camera on in there. Um, Javon Alexander said I'm late to the live. But for me, understanding in a relationship is cool. If we get an explanation, but just ghosting is an issue for you, huh? Um, 
it's I think it's personally rude. And I don't I don't see how anybody don't think it's not rude. People still do it, but as long as you acknowledging that it's rude that you're doing it. Like but for people like, oh it's not rude or it's cool, but no it's not. But yeah, I don't I wouldn't recommend it. Uh if a person ghosts you that fast, he or she wasn't interested from the jump. Either he just couldn't be honest enough to tell you or didn't know how to do it with tact. I think that's tact, like with a T. But I feel you, sub to seal. I feel you. That's what you're talking about. The date is easy for the gentlemen these days. Only good guys and sugar daddies ask women out now. True. True, true, true. Um, It's got to be hard, gentlemen. It's got to be hard out here trying to find your lady of choice. You know, because I anticipate if you ask me on a date, you know, you taking me out, you paying. So if you a dude and you ask two, three women out on a date, you didn't have to spend your money on two, three women. So I, I feel y'all. I feel y'all. You know what I mean? How do you, how do you date economically? How do you get to know a woman without necessarily spending your money? I guess you call on the phone, talk to her for a little bit first. Don't use the date to to talk to him. I don't know. I'm not defining a date. How would y'all define a date? Um, the internal spirit said dates don't mean relationships. They're a good way to get to know one another. Agree. Agree. That's why I feel like why you got to ghost. If you went on a date with somebody, just be like, I'm good, you know? Uh, Clarence said, I've been testing and carrying my card in my wallet. Bless your heart, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you go on a date and they start coughing. All right, I'm going to head out. Yeah, that's scary. The Delta variant is real. Okay. So just be safe. Be safe and be careful. Um, Hardworking criminal said, you just stopping by as a button as a sign of support. No one don't know anything of ghosting. Good. Good, good, good. Um... Darius Green said, I've been ghosted. I didn't care until they came back to me. It's not about dating. It's more about making wonderful memories. Agreed. Well, if that's your quick, what's your quick definition of a good date? Uh, a good day to me is I enjoy myself. Because we could be doing anything. We could just be chilling, talking. We could be vibing. We could be having a drink. We could be chilling by the pool, we could be taking a walk, we could be at a coffee shop discussing some, I don't know. As long as I have a good time. We could be chilling at the crib, we could watch a good movie, we could eat some good food. That was a good day to me. It could be anything. First day should be Starbucks. I should know within 15 minutes if I want to see her again. Okay. All right. Yes, we're just Starbucks. Cool. Have you thought about doing some work with B. Linka? I don't know who that is. Tell me. Um, you know how hard it is to even get the nerve to ask women not anymore. It's a whole thing for me, at least. I bet. I bet it's really hard. What's the difference between dating and just hanging out? Um, the two individuals determine that. And sometimes people don't know. Sometimes a dude thinks he's taking the woman on a date, and the woman's just like, oh, I'm going to hang with this dude. You know, I think if people have mutual interest in each other, then that's the date. If ain't nobody got mutual interest, if they ain't, if it ain't no mutual interest, then y'all just hanging out. That's my opinion. Um, Jerome King said, "I think women in this era don't do walks on the first date anymore." Um. Yeah, I mean, no, it's just all about how you present it. You know, it's all about how you present it. You know what I'm saying? I used to date somebody who was not where he wanted to be financially. And so we did a lot of free shit. And, you know, it wasn't terrible. We take walks and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Go hang out at mutual places. Go walk around the mall, whatever, you know. And this was like before the pandemic. A few years back. But, you know, recent, in recent times, you know what I'm saying? 
and that nigga just was tight for cash. So we would just hang out and do free stuff. Uh, hanging out and dating are the same to me. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a big difference. Well, a date or two is important to courting a woman. Truthfully speaking, it is Sean John. Sean John is correct. How do you know if he is the one for you? Uh, Jabari asked. I think is to me, it's just an internal clock. My gut to tell me. Is this person the one or not? Um, I had a woman say to me, I cut her off, then charge for my time. Did you pay her? <laughs> How much did she charge you? Juicy. Wow, Brick Jones. No, um, the No PC Show said, sometimes I'm going to just want to want an oil change and keep it moving. Women way more forward now. Wow. Wow. Albert Wells said, what's up? Just came from Organic Charlene's Live. How was that? I do see that they're on live. Her and Alexis, Alexis Red. That's awesome. Um, when you go out on dates, what smell do you, what smell good do you wear? One that's great for me. That's a weird question. <laughs> Odd. Um, just know I smell good. Some folks don't know how to be creative when spending time. That's true. Oh, you charged her. What did you charge her? Do you feel that black women are so short? What does that mean? What do you mean? Do I feel, do I feel, feel this with the E's and not the I's? But yes, do you feel that black women are so short? What do you mean? Explain. Tell me more. Tell me more what you mean, baby. Uh... Don't start to trust somebody if you're going to get to know them first. What? <laughs> what are you saying? Card notes, seafood dinners. I still, I'm still asking what, what was the question about if black women are being sold short? What is that? What is that? What does that mean? Ooh, it's eight. Look at the time, baby. This light is bright. Turn it down some. You can play Twister at home with someone you're equally yoked to and have so much fun. I imagine it's on my bucket list. That does sound fun. They are overlooked when it comes to relationships. Um, um, I don't think so. I think that black men view black women in a way that it could be better, but I don't think that we so short. Um, Cause I feel like if you demand what you demand, you gonna get it. I know a lot of black women that get what they, what they demanding, respect and all of those things, so. I don't know. But yeah, y'all. Um, we winding down in this mug. But yeah, good, healthy conversation. If y'all don't know, again, if y'all don't know anything about our lives, we are definitely, um, I watch the Hood Healer on Instagram. She calls them town halls. I'll be, I'll be liking that, you know, we had some town halls. We was talking about ghosting, talking about, um, dating the appropriate time to go somebody and not or whatever and the conversation just went from there but that's all for now i'm gonna let y'all get to y'all evenings nights because it's late depending on what side of the u.s you are on me and richard about to work it out i'm gonna work it out before this rehearsal that i got um, I got a real interesting, fun video of something that I've never done before that I'm going to post this week. So I hope that y'all receive it. 
um, with open arms. But just know it is something I haven't done before that I'm trying out. So show that some love when you see it. If you haven't looked at when she shoot her shot, one, two, and three, please go to my YouTube and watch it and share it with a friend or two or three. Love y'all. Kisses. Stay safe. Love you, Lamont, in the Bahamas. Shout out to the Bahamas. Um, be good, y'all. Love yourself and love everybody else around you. But love yourself. Thanks, Jerome. I appreciate you. He said this live made your night and is about to watch. Uh, with the play. Please do, Jerome. I really appreciate you. You see, you showing love like nobody else can. MVP of the night is definitely Jerome. Um... The reason why I say this is because many black women are now being overlooked when it comes to marriage. You know, Jabari, you'll find you a black woman if that's what you're looking for. And, you know, I don't know. We could just, we can, we can finish that conversation at another time. Because that's a good one to have. That's definitely a good conversation to have for sure. Um, but thanks, Jerome. Thanks, everybody, for joining the live. I'm going to get myself together over here. Do, do these things that I gotta do. I don't know about you. I got to finish my book. Nice, congratulations, Jabari. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. But I'm gonna finish my book, y'all. See y'all later, be good, kisses. Hugs and kisses, I'm out.